Hope the first challenge of testing your skills. Now, if you guys are watching this for the first time, consider yourself lucky because this is a rare, this is a series that I never seen on the internet, um, on YouTube at least, and it allows you to test your programming skills. So, the first challenge is to use the skills you've learned to create a number guessing game. So, if you've been watching my C++ tutorials, from what I taught you, you should be able to do all these things right here, right? So, first thing, your game must include a, some loops. It must at least include one loop so that if the player wants to play again, they can. So, you have to have the option to make the player play again, right? Your game must at least have three game modes, an easy, medium, and a hard mode, right? And the number of tries and guesses and the range of numbers should um, change accordingly. So maybe in easy mode, you'll make them have 20 guesses. And they have to guess a number between 1 and 100. And in medium mode, so they have 10 guesses. And they have to choose a number between 1 and 500. And f again, I say again from the tutorials you've learned, you should be able to do all this. If you don't know how to do this, then you should go back to the beginner tutorials. Now, each game mode has to have a set number of tries. So, just like I said before, easy mode have, might have um, 20 tries, so 20 guesses. And medium mode might have 10 tries or 10 guesses. If the player exceeds the amount of tries without guessing it right, then you put you lose. And then you ask them if they want to um, play again. So, if, they, if you have 20 guesses and they take 20 guesses and they don't guess a number, then you put you lose, then ask them if they want to play again. If the player guesses the right um, number and the lot of number of tries, then you put you win. And a note, remember to reset everything if they decide to play again. So if they decide to go from the loop from the beginning, remember to reset the values. Now as a bonus, um, make the numbers if you uh, say in easy mode, Make the numbers from 1 to 100. Instead of you setting the number, make the number be random. And um, make it have additional game modes. Um, like uh, like you can make it, you can make it easy, medium, hard, and a pro mode. Or you can make it a ladder mode. So you start from easy mode and work your way up to hard mode or pro mode or whatever. And three, it shows the amount of guests you have left. Um, so if you're on, say you're on easy mode and you have 20 guesses and you've already taken 13 guesses, it'll show that you have seven guests left. And for number four for the bonus, it shows which number you're guessing. So if you're on guess number one, then it shows guess number one. If you're on guess number two, it shows guess number two. If you're on guess number three, it shows guess number three, etc., etc., and it says whether the number is higher or lower. So, um, basically, you can make an integer for one means higher. No, no, you don't even have to do that. You just put C out, and um, you put if the number is higher or lower. And again, if you watch all my tutorials up until now, you should be able to do all these things. And good luck. And I'm going to be posting the answer to this, um, the full code, um, to this, uh, next week. So you have a week to work on this. So good luck to you all. And if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask me. So start coding.